Hello, my name is Martin Hogan. I am the trainer for Chevron on GIS, GID and GFF gas courses. Uh, today we're going to demonstrate the safe isolation of a gas appliance or electrical controls board. If you have a phase tester, get rid of it. It's not a safe apparatus for checking for power and it also isn't properly insulated and you may get an electrical shock. What you must use is a digital multimeter and before you use it, you test it on a known electrical supply, which I've already done. And when you approach the board or an appliance, first of all, you're taking that the unit has been working. So you switch on, make sure the power light is on and you can demonstrate the working of the unit. You select the next voltage above what you're working at. In this case, it's 700 volts. Neutral first, always neutral first, and then live, all right? And you read the volts, 225, we now have power on that board. You do not trust an electrician or anyone before you. You must check the board to see is the power in the correct terminals. In this case, we could have the power switched between the live and the neutral, so therefore we will check the polarity before we start checking on any other aspect of the board. To do that, remove the terminals and you go between earth and the neutral and we're reading a 0 to 15 volts. That proves the polarity is correct. And then we establish earth to live and we have our 223, 224. We have the correct polarity on that board. We'll turn off the power. We should, at this stage, determine where the fuse board is and we can throw the circuit breaker. In this case, I've thrown the isolator. I'm going to pull the fuse, take the fuse out, put it into my pocket, and now I know no one can accidentally switch that on at any stage I'm working on the appliance. I will then check again to make sure, again, neutral force and then the live to make sure that appliance is isolated safely.